This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial is part one of Java Input Output. This shows class diagrams for some classes involved with input in the class library. And we'll have a second class diagram showing some classes involved with output. Look at the notes here. A string is text. It's definitely set up for text. A file here, the class file is represents a path name, the location of the file. It does have some functionality to delete the file, to get the path, or to see if the file exists, but it mainly is a path name. We have an input stream which is abstract and from it inherit a file input stream and an object input stream. The file input stream is for binary data as opposed to text data. Binary data gets raw bytes. doesn't look at them as characters. And the object input stream is designed for objects that are in files. It's when objects are serialized is the word it's called. They're put in there in a raw byte format but in a way that they can be obtained later. So they're written by the output but the input here can read objects that are in a in a file. So we have text ability, binary ability for raw bytes, could be images or data files that are not text in objects that are ser serialized to files. And <clears throat> we see in the scanner, the scanner has constructors to chain itself to a file or to an input stream. Of course the input stream is abstract so it would be uh, to one of its derived classes, one of its subclasses, and also to a string. The file input stream itself has a constructor for a file, take a file to chain to it, and also will take a string. The object input string, input stream, has a constructor that takes an input stream a particular one, for example, we have an example here of it perhaps using a file input stream as the place where it will source the object um, the objects from. And this note here says this is constructor chaining. One example of it where one constructor uses an object from another class and they're chained together to provide the functionality. So on the input side, the, the main theme here is that there are classes that are provided that will do text input, binary input, and serialized object input. And as I said, there are many classes in the Java li class library involved with input, and it's quite a big learning curve, so these can just get you started. Scanner has some nice easy to use functions that can help you parse text input in particular. That's what it's geared for. Now we're going to move over to the output class diagram. This class diagram shows some of the classes they can be used for output to files. Again we have the three types represented here. Text output uses print writer can be used by uh, print writer can be used for text output and it inherits from this abstract writer class. Print writer has functions very similar to system.out print line and print for binary data, there's a file output stream. For 
object data, there's an object output stream. And the constructors show that there's chaining involved. For example, the file output stream can take a file in, in its constructor, and again the file is a path name. Also the file output stream has another argument, another parameter in its constructors, a boolean called append. It tells whether or not the, when you have such a file and you open it with this constructor, whether or not you will write to it from the beginning of the file, overwriting what's ever there, or append to the end of the file. We see up here a base class for the output streams that's abstract. And there's serializable as an interface down here. The only objects that will participate in being written to an object output stream, they have to implement the serializable interface. And that interface does not have any methods. It's simply like an indicator that the objects will participate in this type of uh, activity. So that's all that happens there. So again we see here a number of classes that can be used for the output side. And, and again there's many more in the Java class library, but the ones here for output and the other ones can get you started.